Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to the 28th of January. Today is a Tuesday. You know, we've talked here lately about rain and cats and dogs. That, look at all this. That took the cake last night. I, I don't, I think I keep saying this because it just keeps ramping itself up. I don't remember it raining that hard in a long, long time. Like Kelly and I were saying, it would, it would pour so hard that you're like going, wait a minute, that's a little excessive. And all of a sudden it just like ramp up from there. That's pretty crazy. But uh, it's just a light sprinkle now. But I don't think it's stopping anytime soon. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. Look at this around the barn out here. Whew. Actually, there's some bright skies looking off in the distance. All right, let's take this crazy drive south and start our work day. Oh my God, if there's any way, there's Sparky, there's Ren 1010 sitting on top of a, of a log out there. Hope you can see that bright spot out there. I can't zoom this camera. That is so cool looking. He looks like Lassie at the beginning of a movie. <laughs> of their TV yeah. series, you know, the He's old. Always sitting up on she side. runs up. It's funny is how quick the mallards come out there and, and go play in these flooded areas. Let's see what the creek looks like. Whoa, she's high. Yeah, that's crazy high. Hang in there, old Dr. Pierce is born. The sunshine will be here before you know it. I promise. Yes, it will <laughs> come. <laughs> I was trying to get some waterfalls coming off of here, but the big one I missed. The camera was delayed and starting. Look at even the uh, Columbia has a murky look to it. Kelly and I had a little love nest place that we found from that from that road up there. And it was great. It was like this little private thing that walked out to the edge of the cliff. Then were the days, huh, Mom? Uh -huh. That were some wild days. Those were wild days. <laughs> it didn't get any better, Mama. No. It's, it's still Wholesale yes. nasty out there. Just a pounding on the old roof. Can we just go back home? <laughs> it's just nasty. I should have probably parked you up front so you oh. don't have to walk in it. That's all right. I got a hood. I'm not meltable. All right, Mama. All right. Have yourself a wonderful, very wet Tuesday. You as well. <laughs> all right. Love you. Oh. See you by there. I love you, babe. All right. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Well, dadgummit, that Kurt didn't finish my G310 GS. But <laughs> he finished his own. I think he had a, he was working on one and finished another. And um, I think that might be the end of them. We split them, split them up between us. And then I've got that red GS and another uh, blue and white one sitting over there. Even in the crazy rain. <laughs> Got customers bringing in their BMW. Super, super nice couple. Sat here and shot the bull with them a little bit. So I went upstairs and bought another one of these Optimate little USB chargers. I showed you that 90 degree one that I had. Well, I want something in my tank bag. So anyway, I go up there and I go, there's no price tag on it. So I had Kelly bill it out to me like, Holy moly! <laughs> Man, even an employee's discount, it ain't so much of a discount. There's no markup in this stuff. Anyway, this thing though, I can leave this in my tank bag for those uh, for those days that you drive along with just your tank bag on. I like their waterproof uh, USB connectors, but that'll lay in a little trough in my in my tank bag real real nicely. And sometimes that thing being 90 degrees, I gotta swing it a certain way. 
So being just straight like that clears everything. And then you just have your cable come in the side port or whatever. So this is how the uh, new calipers come. All sealed up in a bag. See if I can do this one handed. There she is. She's not loaded. Uh, BMW a lot of times sends the calipers loaded, but I, I think they're doing it different uh, because of it being a recall. But she's a uh, four four live pistons. Take off the old and put on the new. Who's that? Man, oh man! Words out that the uh, bulletins are getting performed on these G310, G310s, and the peeps are pouring in, or at least they're calling like crazy. And uh, it sounds like this red GS may be the uh, one of the first to roll out of here. So. I went ahead and prepped it all up. But I'll take her for a quick little test ride and drag y'all peeps along with me. <laughs> These things are so fun. Well, I seen the little woman coming downstairs. Probably getting something out of the dot com area. <laughs> These things are so pleasing. This thing would pack you around wherever you need to go. So yeah, people are funny about you know size and number of cylinders and this you know bigger's not always better. Bigger's more comfortable. You know, you got all that mass and power and everything else, but is a 310 GS fun? And would I be afraid to take it anywhere? Absolutely not. Very nice motorcycle. Man, I see little oil spots coming down that road all the way down. Have to be careful on the rebound here. Lovely motorcycle. She's so sweet. <laughs> You know what I find funny is how many uh, BMWs come and go out of the Toyota place here. They're not a BMW dealer. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, yeah. Crash and burn dang near. In the parking lot. Alright, looks like the flex is going to stop. Man. In my younger days, if something like this 300 came about, I don't care what class of rider you were, if this came out like 20 years ago, everybody on the planet that was interested in motorcycles would buy this thing. The way it runs, fuel injection, you know, 20 years ago that wasn't such a big thing, you know. Yeah, buddy, she's a good-looking, good-looking bike. I think this is the only red one we have. I think that's why somebody jumped right at it. I don't know that, though. But the sales guy was, that's the one I need pictures of. Maybe he's seen the stock number or something on it. But the calipers are replaced, so uh, the uh, recall requirements have been met. I, I hooked it up to the computer and did all that. The... Uh, the battery's not full, so it needs to be full. Can't leave her uh, less than a fully charged state, so I'm going to go hook her back up to the BMW charger. I wish, wish Kelly could fit one of these things because, you know, it'd be fun to ride around when a... Uh, you know, myself when when she wasn't riding it being mindful of my takeoffs I have a, a tendency to stall these uh, these 300s they must have a really light flywheel or something 
that and I'm, I'm terrible about one of these guys that that like to take off with almost no throttle and get it's probably that Harley thing or something you go jump 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 off the <laughs> off the light I love that sound I love that feeling well certain bikes that doesn't that doesn't bode very well these three tens and we all at the store must be guilty of it because anybody that you know rides a lot my kid just about anybody jumps on one of these things and, go, Oof. and a new rider because they're very I mean there's like oil everywhere see the little splotches everywhere there's the one right there I mean it's just going all the way around here a lot of times it doesn't mean anything it's just enough to make the color but uh any sign of oil on the ground when I'm on two wheels not a cool thing <laughs> this thing feels so plush it feels like it's got about two miles of suspension on it so you just feel like you're riding on a motocross bike I mean, it's not that tall but it just has that feeling you know it's just so supple it just makes you want to just go goof off this is one of these things that would just make you explore when I ride one of these I just think I would go everywhere go bombing down alleys little back roads and little trails here and there I'd be all over the place you gonna wait for me there that's just super nice of you oh they are taking a right from the left lane yeah buddy She is a sweetie. So, we've got one more to bust out here. Should be able to get her done here today. Get her over here, because I'm going to have another one of these on my bench. I'll set this over here, let her, let the battery cook up. Anyway, it's got that offset key, kind of like KTMs and stuff, too. Here's your battery. Here's your battery. ODB2. Your uh, VCM. It's your ABS and control modules to computer right there. Here's your terminals for your battery. Your little tool kit. Some relays. Possibly fuses. I don't know. Yeah, it relays because there's a fuse box right there. Never had any any issues with these things, so it's funny, you know, something could be out for a couple of years and then somewhere along the line somebody'll have an issue and you're like, I don't know how to work on that thing. They're going, dude, it's been out for years. Well if they don't break, you don't get no experience working on them. You know? There was a if you guys remember me talking about it and BMW actually bought the bike back and then the bike that that we returned became a discussion at school the last time I was there this is the crankcase breather and there's a junction that connects that seals this because it's a it's a you know dry sump motor but it's using the engine as the tank and uh, anyway the, where the breather comes across and passes through there's a seal it's like an O-ring on one side and a seal on the other. And uh, there's this little collar that goes in between there. And I guess at the factory, they can get a little crazy and a little too quick and nick that seal. But we've only, there's no bullet or anything. It's just one of those uh, Puma cases or a TST, technical service tip, that if you get a lot of oil getting into the air box, you know, one, make sure your oil level's correct. And, uh... If it continues to do it, pull that cover off. You may see a, a damaged O-ring or a nicked seal. But that's the only problem we ever had with one. And there was uh, some new tools for doing some of the tests they wanted me to do. And uh, they weren't available at the time. It was when these things first came out. And they go, we're just going to come get it. So they bought the guy another uh, GS. And he rode off on a new one. And they took this one, or the one I had, back. That's it. It ran fine, did everything fine, it just would get oil up in there. A <laughs> silly little o-ring. But I didn't understand how that breather system worked. So that was cool. 
and we completely took apart and put back together one of these at school and that was fantastic anyway hope you enjoyed the GS ride I sure did <laughs> get the battery on the charger check this out it is quarter after five right now sunset was at 510 here in Van Chulo land hot dang all right let's mosey on home there mama what you think on that look at that so that's what you look like in light yeah <laughs> all right uh -oh, let's roll better trade hands. yep them crickets are flat going at it boy that's nice that's a sign that spring is around the corner although it's kind of chilly out here but it didn't uh, rain all the way home a couple of spots of roads were wet and got a little mist enough that you had to hit your your washer but yeah great not driving home and you know feeling like you're driving across a lake <laughs> Well, hello there, YouTube. It's like very nice to drive down some dry roads. Yeah. Other than a crazy tanker truck. He was very lost. Yeah, he, he was turning around in this gravel thing, and then he pulls out in front of us. And goes 15 miles yeah, an hour. Yeah, he couldn't find a gear. Road. That first steep winding thing. Yeah. yeah. Like you're saying, he just couldn't get going. Yeah. <laughs> you hear, ah, rah. Wow. Yeah, I went through about 10 gears and I think he only went 10 miles an hour. He took off like really fast yeah. at first and then just lost his way with yep. the transmixer. But anyway, ended up passing him down straight away there because he just couldn't get going. That's funny, once we got around him, I look back in the mirror and I'm like, I'm not leaving him anymore. Yeah. He was rolling. Then he turns off and heads towards the cedar mill. Who knows? Crazy. <laughs> Don't know what he's doing. But anyway, I think we got, got stuff. <laughs> we stopped for prescription stuff for Kelly and uh, she comes out with groceries. I'm just going to run and get my little strips and something else. Uh -huh. Then she forgot laundry soap. Always, I always forget something. <laughs> Even when I make a list, I forget because I don't check the list. Yeah. Oh, Lordy. So we got the... You got the coolest note things you oh, can use, no. little check things, you know, you check them as you go, and cool stuff. Yeah. Anyway, right. I think we're going to roll on out. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up, and you guys have a wonderful Wednesday or Thursday. That's why sometimes we have a hard time having a conversation. I, I step on you, you step on me, and it's yeah. just... It is sometimes we just have an awkward conversation. <laughs> you ever do that when you talk like with a you meet a customer or an employee, whatever, and it's just for that few minutes it's just this awkward thing of like constantly on talking on yeah, top of each other. Completely out of sync or something. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Well anyway, we'll see you in the morning. You guys have a good night. Thanks for watching now. Yeah. Bye bye.